some major breaking news coming out uh, of Los Angeles. You're looking at uh, live pictures from LAX, uh, the Los Angeles International Airport, where there's been a ground stop. Renee Marsh has been watching this story for us. Uh, Renee, what's going on? Well, Wolf, I just got off the phone with the FAA, and here's what we know. Very little bit of information at this point, but we are seeing that ground stop there because of a problem, a computer problem, a technical issue at the L.A. Center. And essentially, that is not at LAX, but it is a center, a facility that handles uh, safely spacing out the aircrafts at high altitude. So they're having a computer problem there. In order to address the computer problem, uh, they're essentially just slowing down and stopping traffic because the problem is you want to be able to, you don't want to have a situation where you can't safely space these planes apart. So that's why we're seeing that ground stop while they deal with, again, this computer issue, which is at a facility in Los Angeles. Again, they deal with spacing out these planes at high altitude. And, That's information we have now. And this uh, uh, air traffic control center in Los Angeles, it could have impact other cities as well. And we know Burbank, for example, there has been a, a stoppage in, in Burbank, but maybe Vegas, Phoenix, other areas that are controlled by this uh, LA-based control center. Is that what you're hearing? Again, FAA not giving us a lot of information. So we do know that there are some other airports that they're seeing traffic stops. We know there's also a lot of weather around. So we have to really uh, go through that to determine right. if it's weather or this issue. Miles O'Brien is here. You're working your sources, too. What are you hearing? Well, it's, it, we need to understand a little bit about what we're talking about in these centers, just so people understand. When you talk about the centers, that, that is the largest swath of, of space. And that, that's covering the en route system, the higher altitude, as you say. As you get closer to an airport, you get into what they call it TRACON, it's terminal radar. And that's the regional area. And, it, and then you get down to the tower radar. The, the, if the radar fails in these big regional swaths, it has a huge ripple effect all throughout the region. That might be what we're seeing here in this case. Uh, as it gets closer and closer to the airport, the, the failures, the implications of the failures become more localized. So uh, we, sh we, we should just be watching this. And you know, whenever you talk about computers and radar, they're intertwined. We've been talking about that with the Malaysian airliner a lot that the transponder information that, that is on there, that it provides the controllers the information about where the aircraft is but, headed. But Miles, if, if there's a stoppage in L.A., there's a domino effect all Even over the country. if it's just in L.A., there's a domino yeah. effect. But this could be a regional thing, which could have much greater implications. All right, guys. But, but we do want to say they, they feel as if they are working out this issue. They tell me that they hope to have it resolved soon. That could be an hour, two, three hours from now. But yeah, That could soon. really disrupt traffic yeah. across the country.